Yo, one of the hardest things is changing old habits. <laughs> changing old habits is so hard. And I'm mid training, I'm mid training block. My coach didn't quit on me. And I had to go back to the drawing board and figure out like what I'm going to do. Like how am I going to execute this? So I started thinking about it the way I would attack the gym. It's like proper form. Moving the form is the most important thing. It's like even if you got to go lighter, get the form right. So when you go heavy, everything will still be there. Like that foundation is right. The same way, the same because it's like I, a lot of a lot of I feel like when you look up running and stuff, it's like everybody emphasizes zone two and the cardio system, and that's great, right? That's a great foundation, but they don't talk about posture. They're not talking about like how making sure you have the right posture. And it's like, well, how do you figure out if you got the right posture? Record yourself, <laughs> straight up, record yourself. And then they also don't talk about the other foundational pivotal piece, which is we know it as recovery, right? We know it as recovery, <laughs> whether that's stretching, yoga, drinking, staying hydrated, eating correctly. But really, that's another that's another foundational another foundational piece, and it's not just after you work out. That's what you need to have a great workout. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just the the base. That's like the foundation of it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta make sure your posture is right. You gotta make sure the cardiac your cardio system is right, and you also gotta make sure that you're maintaining and taking care of your body. And all of the, when all of those so when all those things come together, and it's time to go out and run a race, be able to just. Get out there and go. Now, the hardest thing for me is, since I've been looking at posture and understanding posture more, it's like, yo, I got to change. I basically got to unlearn everything that I've done prior to this. I got to unlearn everything. Like, junk miles, it's just like, it's like dirty bulking if you in a gym. And it's just like, all right, I'm going I'm to I'm lift weights. I don't care about my posture. Then I'm going to just eat mad protein. And then be like, I end up, end up getting fat. And it's just like, I mean, bro, that's because you're not really changing the way that you like you're thinking about it like you're not really changing anything it's like you're getting bigger but you're not cut and it's just like well if we if we handle everything on from the foundational piece correctly then once we build on top of that we be it's over right like it's nothing that anybody could anybody could do or say to us so it's like to unlearn those habits today i had a five mile easy run hold on before i before we get into that into the story how many miles you run today how many did you have your green tea today did you drink your iced coffee today? Did you have your coffee today? Whatever you drink, let me know. Holla at me. Holla at your boy. Let me know what you're training for. You know the rules. If you're new here, this is a community. You know what I'm saying? My name, I go by I go by the name of Taylor Wallace. <laughs> I am your MC for today. I am your host or whatever you want to say. And we just sit back and we kick it. Like, you know what I'm saying? We kick it here. Y'all kick it in the comments. And then we have conversations. You know what I'm saying? Check out the old backlog. It's a lot of fire stuff. A lot of cinematic movie stuff. It's, I got a background and all that. So, yeah, but anyway, the effort that goes into changing all of these habits that I had and doing all of these, all of those miles where I was just emphasizing, I got to just get the miles in. I got to build the, I got to build the cardio base, but not worrying about, about my actual form and posture was putting in a lot of junk miles. And that reminded me of like dirty bulking and not hitting proper form in the gym. And it's like, that's why when race day comes and... <laughs> I'm out there for 26 miles. I might be working harder than I have to. And we don't want that. We don't want to work harder than we have to. But the but to go from to go from doing something subconsciously and then to have to consciously put an effort into it is mentally is mentally it's like mentally draining. <laughs> it's hard. And I got a whole video I got a whole thing coming. I'm going to go a little bit more in depth in but in terms of like endurance training that's probably coming next week but this is tough it's it's tough and it's like every day even though it's supposed to be a, i was supposed to have a five mile easy run it was supposed to be light it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't easy today and every day ain't gonna be easy now that i'm changing the way that i'm i'm attacking the game and it's like i'm, I'm basically starting brand new fresh and there's nothing wrong I was, I was talking to a homie he was like yo that's a big change man block it's like I don't even think about it being a big change mid-block because it's like I'd rather have the right foundation. It's like even if you have to change something, if it was two weeks before the race and I found out like, oh, Posh and could help me be a better runner or help in, in racing, it's like make the change. So it's like don't be that stuck in your ways where it's like you can't make a change. But understand when you do make the change, 
changing habits is hard. <laughs> that effort, the amount of effort that it takes to go from, I don't know, to go from doing something subconsciously to to consciously doing it, to put that conscious thing in your, make that the default to go to the subconscious, it's crazy. It's crazy. But also, it's like I got to aid myself and build the right foundation. I got to drink a lot more water. I got to do my stretching. I got to do my yoga. And it's like, yo, it's okay if I have a cheat meal here and there and all that other stuff. But it's like, yo, bro, do everything you can to really help yourself out. Because my last, my this past week in doing it, I was like, oh, snap, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. And yesterday was like, I had an amazing workout, amazing long one workout. I'm like, damn, my God, I finally got the bounce. I'm like, every day it's like a progression. I'm like, oh, I'm getting a little more of the bounce. I was like, oh, I finally got it. And then, then today happens, and it's like, it's super hard. It's super difficult. It's only supposed to be an easy five-mile run. But that's just understanding that, like, yo, this is going to take time. Whatever you going, whatever you, whatever you chasing after, whatever you, whatever your goal is or your end goal is, it's going to take time. These things don't change overnight. And this is not even just for you. Just to remind me, too. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to sit back. I'm going to watch this back and be like, damn. It's like, just knowing, like, yo, we all go through these battles. It's like nobody, everybody got their thing that they dealing with or battling with or trying to get better with. And it's just like, yo, we can all do it. This is this is what this is a part of here, too. It's like, this is a support group. You feel me? It's like, I put, I put my stuff out there. So hopefully you can relate and be like, oh, damn, you right. Damn, I was feeling that. No, I could open up or whatever the case is. But <sighs> changing the posture, <laughs> changing the way that I, changing the habit is tough. But we going to make it. We going to make it. Today was tough. But every other day been 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 good. Like my cadence has gotten up. I, I increased my cadence from like 150, 160 to 170s, 180s. I'm making sure that I'm... Um, keeping my head up, my back straight, my you know what I'm saying? I'm not bending at the waist, and I'm just bouncing. But today, that bounce was hard. I, I couldn't catch the bounce today, but we're going to keep working at it. We're not going to be defeated because this is a long-term thing. It's just like anything you're working, anything you're working for is not going to come the next day or easy. And if it comes, if it comes that quick, I might have not learned the lesson that I needed to learn from it. So it's like understanding that time isn't the issue. Time is not the issue. It doesn't matter how long it's going to take. We're going to break sub three. We're going to get the posture right. We're going to build a foundation. I'm going to drink a lot of water. It's like, this is something that's also not emphasized too in this, in this joint. Yo, make sure you're drinking a lot of water because if you dehydrate it, the heart rate going to be up. Like, just straight up. Drink a lot of water. Also, thing about recovery is staying calm. <laughs> Gotta stay calm. Gotta be zened out. You heard? <laughs> Laugh more. Like, that's really important. I know this is, we get, I know for myself, it's like I get a lot, in the, in the marathon train, I get wrapped up in it. Where it's just like, I be kind of like aggy and upset. And it's just like, yo, this is something that you love to do. Have fun with it. Joke around. Relax. Like, when you look at, I look at like people like Kachoge and all of them. It's like, he always got a smile on his face. He's always good. He always seems chill. It's like, yo. And he running two hour marathons. So who knows the pace I mean, not the pace. Who knows the pain that he going through or the pain he putting in? It's just like, yo, we got. I gotta learn to be that calm. That also gonna help the heart rate. And then I'm gonna figure out the. I'm gonna figure it out. Just know, like you gonna figure it out. Like just take your time. We gonna figure this out. You heard? We gonna beat the game. We gonna beat the game. Don't worry. Just keep putting in work. Make sure your posture's right. Make sure your form is right. Make sure that you're just on top of that. And I know it's going. It's hard to change a habit. But once that habit changes and, and that becomes the default, the new habit that we want becomes the default, it's over. Even something simple as standing up straight. <laughs> standing up straight. You know what I'm saying? This changes everything. Even in terms of the confidence, when you when I'm out there now with the new posture, people are looking at me like, yo, he look like, yo, he's like, is he a professional athlete? Come on, we got to just keep it going, you know what I'm saying? You know the rules. Look good, feel good, run good. And that's really what it is. So it's like the better the posture, the more confidence you exude, and then you know you're killing it. So that's the thing that's really working. And every mile is a new mile, man. <laughs> every mile a new mile. But you know, y'all know how we doing it. Um, you know, this is just a little conversation. Focus on recovery. I'm about, look, I'm about to go. Do, I'm about to stretch, do yoga, drink a lot of water, hit the massage gun, 
These my best friends. <laughs> gotta learn to recover. We gotta recover better. We gotta recover better. This is just this is your reminder too. You heard? If you watch all, if you watch this all the way in. Y'all know how I feel about y'all. Y'all know y'all my people. You heard? Holla at your boy. You heard?